Okay guys, so here we have our Rob Font showcase. Rob Font who is facing Josie Aldo tonight. Um, now this is a man who has been on a serious, serious upward trajectory. His last defeat came in 2018. Since then, he's gone on to win four on the bounce. I think he's defeated Sergio Pettis, Ricky Simon, Marlon Moraes, and Cody Garbrandt last time out, if I'm correct. Um, he is number four in the division currently, facing number five tonight. Josie Aldo, who I've already done a little bit of a showcase on. So what I would assume is that the winner of this fight would either face Petr Jan or Aljamain Sterling for the title. Which is interesting for both both Rob and Aldo as he misses badly on the hip kick. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to try to demonstrate his kickboxing as we get taken down. Yep. We're going to try to demonstrate kickboxing. As he got, he's not getting the choke. Um, back to our feet. So we're going to try to demonstrate kickboxing and get a clean knockout and um, upload this as the second part of the second part of the video that we've already uploaded with Aldo. I know there was no commentary on the the Aldo side of things. Okay, this guy's backing against the cage. A little bit strange. Um. I know there was no commentary on the Aldo side of things, as we deny his takedown. Because I'm just after getting this microphone, it's my, I think besides the mic test I put up, it's the first actual video I'm gonna post with the mic. So, oh, it's the first actual video I'm gonna post with the mic. And um, if you guys could let me know how it is then that would be amazing because I'm still unsure of it I'm kind of unsure alright he's gonna try to choke because he's not gonna get it at all he's not even close yeah I give up on it um so like obviously being denied that being new to this it's gonna take me a while to get into YouTube in general but um especially especially doing audio and such on these fights as we take top mount okay, he's going to try to push us off we're definitely not allowing that to happen we're going to posture up and try to land what i'm really looking forward to in terms of in terms of the channel we'll go for an arm triangle what i'm really looking forward to in terms of the channel is the potential for the growth with new UFC titles coming out soon. Um, possibly to a subsection for other games like Grand Theft Auto. I was thinking about doing doing full gameplay gameplay walkthroughs on the three new Grand Theft Auto games. Like no no commentary, just full on actual walkthroughs, complete gameplay of the full stories, not the side quests and stuff, because that would take forever. But I think that that could easily be done that might be around January so we're gonna do we're gonna do Grand Theft Auto 3 Grand Theft Auto Vice City and San Andreas so hopefully that would be something that not would just interest the guys who've already subscribed but get new people involved in the channel too as a subsection like besides the Besides the MMA and hopefully boxing content that I want to put out, given that there is meant to be two new boxing titles being released soon. Probably going to primarily focus on MMA because I think that's where where my strengths. Oh, that's where my strengths lie. This guy's sidestepping me well. Um, and landing combos. So I think that's where where the probably the basis for the channel is gonna be um obviously given that it's a new channel too there is room for criticism maybe constructive criticism and improvement you know obviously as a youtuber i would like to think that i'm gonna improve um i would like to think my content is gonna improve my my skills in He's going for a sub. It's just wasting my time. He's not going to get this at all either. 
it's just not gonna happen. Hopefully he gives up on it. Might actually sub him, might take him down and try to might take him down and just try to pin him in the second round, I know and it's boring. People don't generally like submissions unless it's a fighter that's kinda known for that kind of thing, but I think he's just trying to be annoying. Then again, maybe on the feet he doesn't He doesn't like it so much so yeah we rock him. Yeah. Just gonna try to get rid of him. Now let him back up. There was no there was see there was no head no real head damage in that situation. So it's best just to let him back up and try to finish the fight on the feet. If I dropped him due to a head rock I'd have probably stayed on top there and tried to finish it off. But because it was body shots, there was nothing really there as so we do rock him now from the head. What he does well is he sidesteps into that hook. I think he's dropped me with it maybe for definite, yeah, for definite once, but maybe twice. So that's that's a pretty, a pretty good skill he's got in his locker. He goes for the takedown. I don't know why. But Ooh, big knee. Body shots again. I'm gonna jump on top. I'm gonna look for the finish this time. Still not there. That's okay. I think it's been a, a far more successful round one. Oh, okay, I wasn't expecting that, but that's a pretty decent knockout. Last second of the round two, which is always, which is always um, good on a video. But yeah, that's that's gonna be our Rob Fan Showcase, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. It was a pretty competitive fight, more competitive than I would have liked it to be. But yeah, I hope it was enjoyable for you guys, and I really do hope you enjoyed the fight tonight. If you're new here, please subscribe, and as always, give this video a like. It massively, massively helps me. So until next week, um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.